Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will represent fractions greater than one in different ways. Let's read this fraction together. Seven fourths. Seven fourths is a fraction greater than one whole. Let's represent seven fourths in four different ways. Let's start by representing seven fourths using fraction strips. Let's create one whole for reference. Let's start counting one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. We know that four fourths makes one whole. Let's keep going because we need seven fourths. Five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths. We notice that seven fourths makes one whole and three fourths of another whole. So we can represent seven fourths as a mixed number. We know we have four fourths, which makes one whole, and we have one, two, three fourths of another whole. So we can say that 7 fourths is the same thing as 1 and 3 fourths. Let's use a pie model. Remember, we have 7 fourths. Let's make a pie with 4 equal parts. Let's count. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths makes one whole pie. And we need 7 fourths. Let's keep counting. 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths. We notice that 7 fourths makes one whole and three more fourths. So one and one, two, three fourths of another whole. Let's use a number line to show 7 fourths. We have a number line from zero to one whole. It is broken up into four equal parts because the denominator is four. Let's count. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. One whole would be four fourths which would be this hole here and this hole here. Now, from one to two holes, it is broken up into one, two, three, four equal parts because we're working with fourths. Now we can say one and one fourth, one and two fourths, one and three fourths, or we can say four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, one whole, or one and three fourths is the same thing as seven fourths. So we can say that seven fourths is very close to two holes. Six thirds. Six thirds is a fraction greater than one. Let's use fraction strips to model six thirds. Let's make a whole for reference. Let's count. One third, two thirds, three thirds makes one whole. We need six thirds. Let's keep counting. Four thirds, five thirds, six thirds. Six thirds makes one, two holes. So we can say that six thirds is the same thing as the whole number two. Now let's use a pie model to represent six thirds. We need a pie with three equal parts because the denominator is three. Let's count. One third, two thirds, three thirds. Three thirds makes one whole pie. We need another pie. Let's keep adding a third. Three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds. Six thirds makes one, two holes. Let's use a number line to show six thirds. We notice this number line has zero to one hole. Let's count how many spaces between zero to one. One, two, three. Three equal parts or spaces between zero and one hole. Let's count. One third, two thirds, one whole would be three thirds. If we add another third, we can say we have one whole and one third, or we can say four thirds. We can say one and two thirds, or we can say five thirds. We can say two holes, or we can say six thirds. Six thirds is the same thing as two holes. One, two, one, two. Now it's your turn to represent six halves using fraction strips, what whole number it represents using a pie model and showing six halves on a number line.